So don't y'all get it twisted just by way a person look. Because y'all have been bred into seeing yourself as the physical body. You are not the physical body. You will never be the physical body. The physical body is just a vehicle that holds information within the DNA. But that's not you. You're far more than that. You are a light being at your core. That is the best vehicle that we have. Now, this footage of this light being was captured in Brazil. Okay? This is live footage. This is who you are at your core. You are a light being. You are the highest vibration and frequency of light. Now, I want y'all to pay close attention because you can see that this being has a staff in his or uh, her hand. Okay? But this is who you really are. You're not the physical body. Get it through y'all head. This is you and your cosmic body. This is you and your Adam Cadman on your heavenly body. This is you in your original body before you were put in a physical prison house body by a jealous God that the Gnostic text refer to as Yaldabaoth. Light being recorded in Brazil, June 2023. Okay, so this is a video of a glowing being that was spotted in Brazil. So allegedly from the story that I read, um, what happened was this is footage from 2020 uh, around the time that I guess COVID popped off. Uh, but, you know, supposedly what happened is um, a UFO landed in a Brazilian jungle and several of these beings actually got off of the craft. And this is one of the beings um, from what I read. The Brazilian government came, uh, swept through the area. I, I don't know. They confiscated, confiscated some things. Um, I'm not sure if they took the beans. I don't know what exactly happened because there wasn't much details. But this is allegedly footage of one of the beings that was kind of roaming around. Uh, was caught by a Brazilian farmer in his you know backyard. And yeah, I mean it, it looks it looks crazy. But I want to know what you guys think. Incredible phenomenon in northern Brazil. Eu acho que caiu alguma coisa aí, meu, do céu, sei lá. Isso. Eu, eu, eu acho. Porque é uma luz diferente, ela não aumenta. Ela não aumenta. Pode ver que ela... Ei, ei, não. Ei, 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 ei. Pode voltar. Pode voltar, mora. Deus o livre, mano. Ei, volta. Volta, mano. Ei, pai, e a fumaça dela é diferente, né? Nossa, diferente. Caiu alguma coisa do céu, pai. Gente, foi alguma coisa que caiu do céu aí, gente. E detalhe, a gente não diminui e nem aumenta. Aqui, aqui, aqui. Não, não vai pra não. Caiu, caiu. Now, if you were reading the translated subtitles, you will notice that these people have no knowledge whatsoever of occultic, esoteric things. They are trying to describe this like a primitive person would describe somebody getting off a spaceship or describing a spaceship. So, they're basically saying they heard a crash. In other words, they heard a spaceship land or crash. Okay, so they don't know that they're looking at a light being. Again, because they have no esoteric knowledge whatsoever. This is the same way our ancient ancestors viewed our star family. 
You know, they worship, they bow down to them. When truth is, they are just a, a futuristic us. These beings are what we would term ascended masters or interdimensional beings. They have the ability to <clears throat> shift their, vibra their vibration so that they can slip in different dimensions at will. And you wonder why we've had so much UFO and extraterrestrial activity this year. Because they know that we're on the brink of nuclear war. If you notice, Brazil, Brazil stay hot. They stay lit with extraterrestrial activity. Shit, bro. Look at this shit. Yeah, mom just sent me a video and mom's about to come home right now. Let me see. Shoot him, shoot him. Oh, look. Right look, look right there. No, look, 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 look. So bad, look at the way it looks. Look. Do y'all see that? I told you. That's, that's a that. UFO, that's what I saw. bro. Right. What is that? That's a fucking UFO. She's right in exact. It is absolutely oh, a UFO. Shit. Yeah, you see yeah, it? Yeah, it looks like bro. a... Oh, fuck. <gasps> what is that? What the fuck? And this is what we call an immortal or an ascended being known as a cloud walker. More UFO activity. Y'all see them shooting them shams out there? There has to be a mother ship because they're shooting out small uh, ships. I want y'all to pay close attention to this. Notice there's going to be a flash of red. That's a UFO. And those bright lights that's within the clouds, those three bright lights, those are actual UFOs too. But the one that's really noticeable is that red one you just saw. And here again we have, look like three UFOs here. Those three bright lights. Keep I'm guessing they call themselves cloaking themselves with the clouds. You know how the Bible say it was a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Look at that. That's UFO activity right there. See, they know. This is why this UFO activity is finna go. It's finna skyrocket, y'all. It's four. Four now. I thought it was three. It's four of them. Might be even more than that. But. They know that this nuclear war is upon us. Y'all know they just Yemen. They claim Yemen, which we really don't know who it was because we know how America is. Hell, yeah, they'll drop bombs on their own cargo just to, just to start a water so they can go steal resources. Okay, they've been doing it for years. But we know they just dropped some, something on Yemen. They claim dropped some, a nuclear a missile or some shit on some cargo in America. So... You already know what time it is. Looks like it's about to be a war, y'all. And then a fourth. All seem to move independently of each other. They seem to hover and move around the sky. Are they of extraterrestrial origin? A strange natural phenomenon or something else? This type of activity is going on all over the world, and I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, there's another Y'all know what though? Mark my words. They, these beings are going to start lowering their spacecraft to where we can see it easily. 
Y'all gonna see what? Ah, isso é rojão. Mas que rojão, que rojão velho? Você tá é maluco? Contra o vento ainda. Meu, o avião vai explodir, velho. Fica atrás do prédio, cara. Não consigo ver. Puta, ficou pra trás da nuvem. Oh, porra. Ah, ficou atrás do prédio. Superman. Hey, they putting on the show. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do not know the validity of this video here. Because to me, this looks like some Stranger Things type of shit. But, mind you, we know that a lot of these movies are based off real life secretive shit. And they put it in movies. Thus, we overlook it as being a real phenomenon. So, y'all already know what I'm thinking. You know, nothing is far fetched to me. More UFO activity. As we can see, there is something up under that UFO, too. It's like a black web. Now, we see a portal. And it's gone. Look at that. Talk about fold up. This is like the Quran. The Quran say, we shall fold up the heavens like a stroll. Y'all thought I was playing. I know y'all see those lights. Look at them. Not the little ones because my, my little mirror thing scratched up. I know you see those right there floating. Oh my, bruh, this every day out here, or every night, but still, look at that. But this really in Miami, I'm not playing, look, the airport is right over here. Y'all, what's up with Miami? Airport. It's a lot of activity you know, going on in Miami. Lights and stuff, you know, it's probably airplanes, but over here, this ain't the airport. Look at that. And them clouds not even moving. They're not moving not because their UFOs cloaked the clouds. At nighttime. Crazy. Look, ain't no other clouds in the sky, but right over here, look at them, and look at those lights, bruh, y'all could, hey, oh wait, it's a couple clouds right here, but look, they just frozen too. <laughs> 